Hello world, we're back at it for another video, and uh, on this video, we're just going to talk about what what uh, has been going on as far as getting our certifications done, getting our uh, business affairs in order, and uh, where we're at. So uh, we both started attending classes because certifications are important in farming and uh so we attended one of the usda classes and also we've uh went and uh, did our applications to start our classes for our, our master gardening certification which will be nice to put up on our stand uh, when people come to purchase from us that we're certified master gardeners on uh, some of the other certifications uh, we're at a standstill it takes a lot of time some of the stuff takes a lot of time but some of the things that we have learned and that we're starting to practice uh, in our in our farm is uh, we document everything now because uh, when we went to that class he told us that's a, a big thing of farming you have to document things also we learned that there are dates that you have to report what you've uh, put into the ground also, there's certifications and inspectors about uh, uh, food safety. And I still haven't done that, taken that test, but <clears throat> I think I'll take it tonight. But there's a, another full, full fledged um, safety program that you have to go through that it's mandatory. And uh, they come out and they inspect your safe practices. So, what we've learned is. Uh, and we have to wash our hands now a lot when we're out here. Good thing we have the hookups and that uh, we do have water accessible out here. And we do have soap that we're going to have to start leaving on the on the porch. Because that's another thing we learned. You got to wash the hands. But uh, I want to show you guys something here. Something small, you know, that we got done the other day. Now today, there. oh, oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, while we were at the class, we took some of the... Uh, some of the videos we took a few clips there i wish we would have got some uh got some pictures because they were a nice a nice setup out there for beginner farmers so you know it was it was really nice but um we didn't take pictures but we did get a video of some of what was being spoken on there and at the end of this video i think that would be the best place to post it just a little five minute clip but you know on limited resources we hit the wire here. I finished this out. It's just been sitting there, and I finally finished it out. And uh, so we'll be able to hook up a nice light there when we get the uh, strawberries planted. And actually, today is the day that we'll be planting strawberries, and I'll be starting on the next patch, and that's going to be the next thing we get to. But I want to take the time to uh, stop and uh, shoot a video because we didn't yesterday. And the more we've been working on the farm, the less time we've had to shoot videos. Now, before we started working on the farm, we were doing two videos a day and I was like, oh my goodness, I just want to condense it all down to one video, you know, say whatever, whatever, and uh, that be done. I was like, we're putting out so much information before we get on the farm that we're doing two videos a day. But now we're finding ourselves working so much that we don't have time to shoot even one video a day. <laughs> So, uh, with the beds, we got these beds. They're they they're, they're almost almost raised up. I mean, it's been layers and layers and layers of dirt. Some of it we bought, some of it we imported from our yard. But they're looking really good. There's a big there's a um, there's a different variety of dirts in there. There's compost in there from the yard. There's just raw raw dirt from the yard. And then there's good organic material in there. Now, when we go to market right now, you know what I'm saying? Since we're, since we're using organic practices to grow our food, organic methods, you know, we're, we're, we're not organic certified. So basically, we're offering natural products. You know, our, our food is naturally grown. And uh, good thing, dude, look, come, come with me, baby. Some of the food is actually starting to come up now. And so... We're happy to see it, you know, and the water system that we that we planted in there is helping. You can see food is starting to come up up there as well. And uh, 
We'll be looking forward to all of it. Now we got to get in there. We we went in there uh, yesterday, baby, mm-hmm. and got up some of the some of the leftover grass. Yeah. You know, and that's a big thing. I said, no, uh, a lot of farmers were saying, hey, you know, what puts people out of business is like that grass growing up around the food. That puts a lot of farmers out of business because actually going in there, you have to get, I mean, if you don't want to disturb your food, you have to get on your hands and knees and uh, grab that stuff. You got to get in there, put your gloves on, scoop it out, get deep in there and get the root. And uh, I guess that would put a lot of farmers out of business but that's actually one of the jobs that i like maybe because i'm a meticulous type of person i like getting on my hands and knees and going and getting a row a day mm-hmm. of uh grass out of there and then too i look at it like this is it's more irrigation in there not not ir- not irrigation but it's more i don't know loosening up the soil i guess you're working working the soil the soil around it here you're making it easier for your food to grow in it because in a way you're um breaking up roots and you're making the soil more fertile for the seeds <laughs> yeah and so actually some of our seeds came in today and since we've been working this is what i i well it, it came in my mind and i've explained it to my wife but as we've been working on the farm for weeks it's become clear to me what type of farmers we are so when they so when people have asked us questions like oh what type of farmers are you are you you know our shot group of of how i answer that question um has become more clear to me just by doing the work and so since we started we we're a month in and in a month we haven't taken a day off even today as we had to go handle bureaucracy in the beginning half of the day you know, we're back out here working on the second half of the day. Tomorrow we have no bureaucracy to handle. And guess what? We'll be working all day. We said to ourselves that the only time we would take a day off is if it rains. And we've held true to that. We haven't taken a day off. But it looks amazing out here. From not taking days off and getting to work every day, it looks very different than when we started out on this journey and i'm pretty sure six months down the line it will change even more but i'm very happy with our decision to um, become farmers Um, i can say sometimes even in the early stages i've learned that you go to some places because you're required to get information from that place or you need to do some kind of business as a farmer there uh, to get your documentation and keep your documentation in order. And when you're there, they're just not used to seeing uh, a melanated person come into their office. It's like uh, even out here where we're staying with the documentation that we do have, the documentation that we do have um, makes us a farm. And we're the first farm uh in in city history here in where we reside at with the first um minority farm ever and so <clears throat> you know how that works out so but i'm not going to delay while the video is going on maybe remind me when uh we get uh around a, a little too much footage <laughs> a little too much action i spoke now while the camera is going i have to uh work at the same time so now i have to talk and work because i'm anxious to get back to it i did want to take a little time i did want to take just a quick hop in a second to uh engage with the camera and to show our lives but at the same time while i'm engaging ready to get to work i'm always ready to get to work that's the one thing about about me on this journey well, we're almost at 10 minutes. Okay, we only got a few more minutes to go. You know, on this journey, I love what I do. And so since I love what I do, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy shaping the earth because along with being a farmer, you know, really I find myself being more of a more of a, a landscape that's what i found that that i'm more it's more landscaping than farming on my end now maybe 
my wife has a different experience because she's been putting the seeds in the ground and you know uh she's been putting the seeds in the ground and so maybe she has a different experience maybe she feels more like a, a farmer uh, but i feel more like a landscaper also with uh getting our corporate documentation together because Uh, we're getting our corporate documentation together. Uh, we came to an agreement because me and my wife, our marriage is, I don't know if you would call it traditional. Our marriage is more business than anything, right, baby? Mm -hmm. We're more business partners. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. And in saying what we're business partners, and saying and saying that we're business partners, uh, when we're when we're doing the business, of course, it's my wife's business, but I'm making the initial investments into her business. So we decided that I would take 10% ownership of the business because of the investments I'm making into it. Mm-hmm. That's only fair, right? If yeah. you went to uh, if you went to Shark Tank, <laughs> uh -huh. they would want more than ten percent. Yeah, but that's of course with uh, having a relationship. We don't look at. Uh, I don't know how most people look at relationships, but when I say relationship, I mean business. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife, we have that understanding. Mm -hmm. I know you're probably looking on the camera saying, what is this guy doing? Why is he why is he doing that? The reason I'm doing that, uh, kicking my foot and stuff like that, is because whenever you, you see a marker, or whenever I see a marker, if you're watching a video and you see a marker, then you have to know that <clears throat> you can't dig anything within so many feet from that. And uh, even with the uh, amount of space that I'm leaving for it. Uh, still, you're only supposed to uh, dig so far from it. So to protect myself from liability, I make sure to give space because I think I mentioned this in an early video, didn't I? Mm -hmm. the, the costs that come with playing with these lines. Yeah. And uh, somebody else would say, why? Uh, maybe if somebody asks, why do you have that hat on, that straw hat on? Well. I have a straw hat on because it's hot out here. <laughs> For real. Seriously. I mean, uh, let's see what else helpful things I can put out there. I'm like put something helpful out there. Well, you're almost at 14 minutes. Almost at 14 minutes. So um, if you like the content from this video, if you enjoyed the content, you got entertainment value or you got some information or both infotainment. Uh, give us a subscribe or check us out on uh, Facebook at Black Farmer 6. Uh, other than that, I'm going to tell you, here's, here's my inspiration for a young man or young woman out there. If there's something that you're inclined to do, but you don't see that there's any monetary, you don't see the future of where, where it could enhance you monetarily. But you say, hey, this is what I enjoy to do. Do it anyway. Don't consider a, 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 a full-fledged business where you would quit your career or something. But start that endeavor that you that you enjoy to do. Start, start it. Just, just start it. And then small-time advertisement. Advertise it. After, you, after you've made whatever that you love to do. Okay, here's here's something. Service service industry is always something good that you can do. Let's say you have OCD, and there's plenty of uh, service jobs out there that you can do, and that's always uh, very effective.
effective as far as part-time work, as far as getting it established. So if you're an OCD type of person and you like to, uh, you like to clean things meticulously, you can start a mobile detail shop. Mobile detail. All you have to do is advertise for it. So whenever you're off your job, you know, let's say you have a schedule when you're off on the weekends, you know, advertise during every seven days a week that you do this job, but only schedule clients for the days that you're off. Make sense? It doesn't have to be a business at first, you know. It could be what I like to call a cash business, which is something you advertise, you do it, you get a little petty cash, maybe an extra $40 a day, $60 a day, $100 or less, basically what I'm saying. This this would be something that you would do. 16 and, minutes. And you would do for $100 a day on your off time. So with that, you will change from being a consumer. Because normally when you, if you just have a job that you report to Monday through Friday, it's easy to when you're not working, spend money. But if you have a job and then you have a part-time hobby that you're, that you're into, it becomes pretty hard to spend your money on things other than necessities because one, your time isn't there. And, and two, you know, when you're working for your cash, you just don't want to want to spend your money. But here's another thing. Hey, let's say you have your job and then you start your hobby part time and you do that for cash. You would, you would no longer spend the money that you have from your job. You would just put that all in the bank. And then when you need to spend petty cash, you know, gas to eat out. Guess what you'll start doing? You'll start spending cash. And before you know it, the few jobs that you do on the weekend will sustain you all week long. And then you'll find out that you're able to do more with your life because you have more positive income. And with that being said, this video has to end. Our videos are so long and uh, there's not very much viewership and we want you to stay engaged with us. So goodbye. <laughs>